Good evening. Welcome to a very busy Oxford Street or slash Bond Street. I'm starting off in Bond Street and heading down towards Oxford Circus. As you can tell, very busy out here tonight. Lots of, lots of people, shall we say. So, very, very busy. Bit too busy for me, just picked up some stuff from HMV. And, uh, So this is Harwood Place, coming down to, they've, they've put an ice rink down here, just around the corner from Oxford Street. This is Skate West End, and uh, yeah, looking very festive. London Cabby, pick another customer. I'm going to walk down onto uh, Regent Street. I think I can get to it from around here from Hanover Square. Yeah, quickly cross the road before.
walk in the road, why don't I? <laughs> Good to walk in the road. <laughs> Doing videoing. <laughs> Typical London store, pret a manger pretty much UK wide. And we are coming on to Regent Street from Hanover Street. Over on the far side there is Carnaby Street. And this is Regent Street. All the main stores are, Hamley's Toy Store and all that. As you can tell, I'm really busy out this evening. It's Monday the 18th of December. We're in the middle of the road, one or two. These bikes are tourist traps in London. Don't ever get into these because they charge you an arm and a leg for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, so Regent Street has got a display of like angels sparkling up there. Just going to show you the Hamley's toy store. This tour appeared, toy shop appeared in Stanley Kubrick's Eyes Wide Shut. Always a good window display. Of it, yeah. Let me get out of this. <laughs> Not built for crowds, me, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm talking of rip offs. There's one here. As you can tell, really nice storefront they've got. Walk in the cycle lane, I guess. You can pretty much get around London on foot. No point really to catch a bus or the tube. As you can tell, just walk from Bond Street to Regent Street. All you need is your Google Maps. Sure, we're going to get onto Carnaby Street here. You'll be fine. Mm -hmm. 
Now, this is Kingley Street, which is runs parallel with Carnaby Street. I just have to get through one of these places up here. I think it was one of these little alleyways where David Bowie done the one of the Ziggy, I think it was Ziggy Stardust albums. I'm not too sure. I'll have to have a look. So yeah, we're getting onto Carnaby Street now. We've got all the decorations up. Again, not too busy doing anything, I suppose, considering all things considered, considering how busy it was on. Regent Street. I'll give her a little. Ray Ban store. If you like glasses. <laughs> You've got Dr. Martin's shop down here. A bit expensive down this neck of the woods. And this is Marshall Street, where um, Jack White played a famous show uh, on that balcony up there. He played about three, four songs. You can find the album live at Marshall Street. That's the balcony up there, which is Damien Hurst's building. And it was right in front of Jack White's Third Man Records. Third Man Records, London. Sorry about that, I had to do my lace up. And now I'm gonna walk down this back road and we've got to go to Piccadilly Circus, Leicester Square. Everyone's got their trees up. Last week before Christmas. So this is the back of Sabo. Yeah, back of Soho coming down to, um, I can't think of the name of the road to be honest. But anyway, it's classed as Soho here in London. Very much like Soho in New York, to be honest. If there was any place I had to compare it to.
So I think it's one of these roads where Tom Cruise comes up in one of the Mission Impossible films to go down to the record store. I think it's actually this one, if I remember rightly, where it says hats and caps. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty certain if my memory serves me well. Uh, yeah, it, literally, it was literally just a storefront and then it went downstairs. I'll have to go back and watch a film. But yeah, Moulin Rouge, everyone. So we're down at Piccadilly Circus. Always busy around here, so I wouldn't recommend coming here at Christmas. And this is the bottom of Regent Street. And this is the place where the werewolf goes on the rampage at the end of American Wolf in London and the cinema is over there well it's not there anymore but it was over there it's changed a lot since uh, the 80s for, for certain And in the film, I think these were all like porno stores in the film, but they're not yeah. now. It used to be the Gap, but yeah. Gap is closed. <laughs> so. This part is the theatre district. You should tell just this is what you do in London, you just walk around in the road. When you're proper Londoner, you just you just just, just ignore everything, you just just walk up the middle of the road and uh, and just hope no one knocks you down. No, no jaywalking in uh, London, London cabbie. Tell all theatres down here. Le Miserable, Time Traveller's Wife, Peter Pan Goes Wrong. Michael Jackson, I think, was down here at one stage. 
beach. Just circling back round and this is Raymond's review bar. This part is like this used to be the old adult district a long time ago. Not now. There's a few places left but it's mainly the gay and lesbian district. Gay lesbian and transgender sort of as you can tell from some of the shops. I like it, it's quite a colourful area around here. Get some good cakes around here. The last review bar in London. And this is Walker's Court, and there's a tattoo studio here on the right, which was in. Uh, Basic Instinct Part 2. I don't know if it's still here. I think it is. And it used to be somewhere here. The Tattoo Studio in... Uh, yeah, they've changed uh, a lot of the stores. This is Berwick Street. Further up was where famous Oasis album. I think it's What's the Story? The photograph from the front cover of that was filmed up here. But yeah, normally there's a market here during the day. Food market, food, food stalls. Yeah, I think it was roughly about here, this part of Berwick Street, where the Oasis album cover was shot. About midway up here, so I'm going to get out of the road <laughs> and stop emulating the album cover. There's a couple of good record shops up here as well. Reckless Records on the right. And Sister Ray on the left. There's Reckless, Reckless Records, really cool record shop. And then across the road you've got Sister Ray, which is another good one. And then further up, 
in English lunatics. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's Sister Ray. And then further up, just off of Derby Street, is Phonica Records. So free records if you're a record collector. Come round London, near your free stores to hit. Anyway, I'm going to head for the train station and go home. Thanks a lot for tuning in and watching my walking video once again. Thanks a lot to all the people that watched the other video. Really appreciate it. And I will catch you again on the next tour.